You think you know me. <coughs> I arrive at home. From where? My head. I feel like I'm about to faint, yet I don't remember doing anything strange. In fact, I don't remember anything I did today. It's as if I just woke up and instead of being in my bed, I was here. Did I sleepwalk? I'm, mo I'm, mostly, I'm most likely just spaced, spaced out like I usually do. I try to remember the last thing I'm able to. And, there, and the festival comes up. I probably spaced out thinking about what we were going to do for the festival. I shake my head. <coughs> As I realized that it won't accomplish anything, I turned the knob on my front door. When I come inside, I smell something baked coming from the kitchen. It smells like muffins. Oh, you're back. Where were you? When I came here to hide from my fall. <coughs> when I came here to start baking the sweets for tomorrow, you weren't here. Oh yeah, I went out to take a walk, I think. You think? Hey Lops, are you alright? Well, I may be a little off today, but it's nothing to worry about. Well, I don't think I can force you to rest, but since you aren't going to do much, I guess you'll be resting anyway. By the way, I bought you my entire manga collection. It's in your room. You did what? What gives? Now that you ask, I don't really know why I just felt the urge to bring it over here. Maybe you can bring it to the club tomorrow? I'm too little and cute to carry. I hate being called cute. <coughs> That's your excuse? That's my excuse. While well, Natsuki insists that it's, it is the only reason, I know better. I know that Natsuki actually doesn't know herself why she has done that. And I wouldn't mind her randomness, but knowing that I myself had to deal with such a thing earlier, the fact that I was doing something without knowing why. Natsuki, can I ask you something serious? Why? What kind of seriousness are we asking? Concerned type of serious. It looks like this is really starting to pick up a bit, so uh, do that for a moment. Also safe. And speaker safe. Patch 2. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I guess you can? Okay then. Are you Natsuki? I asked a stupid question. One so stupid, so simple, and so easy to understand. Yet one that could easily throw away any kind of concern I have for Natsuki. Are you blind or something? Of course I'm Natsuki. No, not like that. What I meant to ask is, are you really the same Natsuki? I guess I can't hide anything from you, can I? I really was hoping for a positive answer there, here. I would have given so much just to hear her complaining about my stupidity. Just to see I was being paranoid, or even that I didn't know her as I thought I did. I'm not feeling okay today. Or rather, I don't want to go, I don't want to go back home today. I even rushed out of the house as soon as I woke up. I... Natsuki, are you alright? No. For some reason I really hate my home. I... I'm scared of my father. I fear he finds out that I came to your house. I really fear he finds out I like manga. I... Natsuki becomes, a, becomes silent for a while. <coughs> Please, body, can you work for like 
let's just say half an hour. Can you work for the next half an hour and then you can just go and die? That's all I'm asking. Please, body, just work with me. <coughs> she sniffs as her tears continue to flow down from her eyes. She trembles, seemingly unable to react to anything. <coughs> but she proved me wrong when she runs towards me. Please help me. I, I embrace her slowly and lightly. Is it a strange moment to realize it? But for the first time I noticed how paranoid she is. That only made me want to protect her even more. You dummy, you can always count on me. Even when you think you're alone, I'm here for you. Can I live with you? Huh? I'm sorry, that's probably... No, don't get me wrong. I was just surprised. But if you ask me for something like that with such a serious tone, I cannot say no. Are you sure? I don't have a thing to give you. I'm useless. I don't care what you consider yourself to be. You will always be not you will be always Natsuki to me. And I will always hear you out, help you and be there for you. I Is it okay if we stay like this for a while? I feel really safe. Of course you can, silly. You can always ask me for a hug, I won't complain. In fact, I'm also scared. I feel like I could disappear at any moment. Being like this with you, I feel like I'm here and that's and that I won't go away. I held not to get tighter. She doesn't make any move, so I guess she doesn't mind. We stay like this for a while. Some time passes and we sep separate. I'm sorry all about that. Me too, but I guess it just shows how much of a friend you are to me. And so are you, I guess. I never thought we would end up like this. Me neither. But I guess... <coughs> I guess I'm really glad you were, you were here. By the way, do you need to get something from your... No! Please, don't make me go back there. Natsuki, relax. I won't make you, really. I just asked. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you that yet. Anyways, don't worry about that. I took my school uniform and all the money I had at my home. As long as you give me a place to live, I will start working to get some money to live on. You're already doing a lot for me. I'll sleep on the floor, but if I may, I would like some blankets. No. I won't let you sleep on the floor. You sleep in my bed. Yeah, I can't. I can't make you sleep somewhere else when I'm comfy in your bed. And I can't let you sleep on the floor either. Then sleep with me. What? I said sleep with me. Of course I don't need anything to happen, happen, but your pet should be big enough for the two of us. Well, I think so. So let's not talk about that anymore until we go to sleep. I need to concentrate on sweets for tomorrow. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll sit down here, tell me if you need any help. I don't think I want to explode anytime soon. Natsuki, Natsuki continues to make some more muffins. The ones that already have been made when I write have already gone cold enough. Even the ones that that are oddly shaped, uh, even the ones that are oddly shaped have too. Natsuki puts the la ladder on the table and invites me to eat one of them. <coughs> I I decide to un accompany the oddly shaped muffins with something to read, and again. I became uh, I become a prisoner of my attention problem as I ignore everything in my surroundings. 
I'm really happy Natsuki is here for me. In more than one way, I like her. And the only thing I'm ashamed of is the fact that I have to face this bizarre problem in order to realize it. This is some, something really precious to me. Of course, Monica has become something precious for me as well during this week. Um, about that. Um, my voice is dying like. <coughs> <coughs> like my voice is legit dying, so. I may not be able to con continue till the end because my voice dies. Anyway, speaking about that week. During this week. I just realized what was off. The problem I I've not been I've not been realizing this whole time. How can I be this stupid? The last thing I remember is the day we three formed the Legio Club. We were cleaning the place and we didn't have much time for the festival. But I'm sure it was more than just one day. Does it forget an entire week? I can't sort it out. I'm really off Obviously, I'm really ob oblivious to what the hell happened during this entire week. And I don't want to worry Natsuki anymore, so I'll just keep I'll keep this quiet for now. Maybe Monica could help me with this. I'll ask, ask her tomorrow. The rest of the day passes without much trouble. I was reading the entire time, but for some reason I wasn't able to concentrate. Or rather, I didn't space out like I usually do. Does this mean I've overcome my problem? Am I this uh, awesome after all? And that's done. Nice job. My mouth is trying to control my body so I can steal one of those you've made. No! Bad boy! Not to get points of me with a wooden spoon she's been using. For the, for the recipe this entire time. Besides, I already gave you what, what I didn't consider good enough, didn't I? But... No buts! I have to content myself with the dough, so you have already eaten much better thing than me. Speaking of which... I stand up and get near the kitchen. There, a bowl of leftover dough is lying near the sink. <coughs> I assume she hasn't cleared it yet. Um, she's looking at the muffin, so I guess she hasn't noticed what I'm going to do. I pick up some dough in my index finger, and I get near Natsuki. Hey, Natsuki, there! In a swift move, faster than I can ever imagine, I feel the exact same sensation I felt last time. That is to say, Natsuki is two steps ahead of me. That's what you get for trying to beat me. Serves you right. Yet she hasn't realized that I'm already at her level. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you haven't won. It's a draw this time. Hey, you shouldn't put this to waste, you know. Natsuki picks up the dough on her face and eats it. <coughs> Look who's talking. I do the same by tasting the sweet dough Natsuki has been eating this entire time. I don't get why, but Roto has his own appeal. But eating too much would be bad for your health, so I restrain myself from licking the entire bowl clean. So it's already late. I should be. Go Sorry, I'm not used to. Don't mind it. By the way, would you like to go ahead and take a bath first? I can wait. Besides, you've been working all this time, so you should probably go first. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll finish up soon enough. Take your time, Natsuki. And please, call me if you need anything. Do you need to summon such a common manga, Kikli say? You wish. I'm already going to sleep with you. I can wait. Gosh, wait, wait to make me feel crossed out there. You asked for it. Anyways, I'm going to take a bath now. Okay, as I said, take your time. Natsuki goes upstairs to the bathroom. I stay in the kitchen, thoughtfully finding my inner urge to make a mu uh, take a muffin and swallow it. But just as I start to move towards me, I hear someone knocking on the front door. Coming! I go check out who is knocking on my door. 
excuse me, I'm searching for a lost kid. As I open the door, I find myself facing an old man whose eyes look as if they had, as if he had a really bad day. Nonetheless, he's searching for a kid, so I must at least answer. Uh, I'm not sure I've seen any. What does the kid look like? The man raises his hand to almost not to his size from the ground. It's, ab it's about this size, has an unnatural hair curl, and its name is Natsuki. Oh, he's her father. My mind goes completely blank. Unable to hide my sudden surprise, I try to talk. I, well, she shouldn't be here. I mean, I don't know anyone like that. Natsuki's father raised an eyebrow. I know clearly that I've already been caught. You said something interesting there. How did you know I was talking about a girl when I didn't state her gender? Also, Natsuki is a unisex name, so... You do know where my daughter is, don't you? Getting as nervous as I can become, I try to excuse myself out of this situation. I really don't know anyone like that. Her father glances towards my home entrance, and he seemingly notices something. What a nice pair of shoes you have there. Are those your sisters? Then I realize she saw Natsuki's shoes. My mouth goes completely and utterly blank, and my reasoning switches off. I can't react. You're lucky I'm an officer, and I can't enter your home without permission. I'll come tomorrow with an official one, and no matter what happens, I'll get my daughter back. Of course, I'll send some co-workers to seize this house, and I'll, and I'll know immediately if Natsuki comes in or out of this home. Is that clear? Yes, but as I said, I... Save yourself from lies for someone who actually buys that crap. I've been this job too long to allow myself to get lied by a, by a mayor student. I really wish Natsuki were not here, for your own good. The old man turns around, showing me his back. For a moment there, I could see him smiling. That sent a chill through my spine. I need to protect Natsuki from this guy. My whole body is screaming that sentence. <coughs> Even someone as stupid and plain as I can tell under the, under the skin of a serious police, police officer, a cruel man is hiding. As I finally see the man leave, I close my door, lock it and go straight to my room. Once I am there, I sit on my bed. I am unable to say anything, and I'm still not able to think of a solution for this. What am I going to tell Natsuki? Should I even tell her anything? As I'm trying to think what to do, I hear the bathroom door open. Natsuki must have finished taking a bath. As I hear the door opening, I decide not to say anything. There, I'm done. What? No pajamas? You are kind of disappointing me here. Yeah, of course I'm not wearing pajamas. I haven't brought what I used before. Huh. Should I clean it instead? You can use some of my clothes for the time being. To turn you on? No thanks, this situation is bizarre enough as it is, as is. Let's not make it worse. By the way, I heard some noise. It was just a salesman, don't worry. My mother has... Kind of got addicted to subscriptions and stuff. I don't care what happens there, what happened there, but please don't lie to me. I know your mother hasn't come here for about a year or so. I guess I can't hide anything from you either. And I, I cannot give this to myself after all. Not sure she's going to find out tomorrow anyway, whether I tell her or not. We can't go to the festival anyway. We're homebound. Your father came. 
I figured. I remember him being especially hard on other, hard to other people, but I have a feeling that for one reason since last week, he's been really harsh. What did he say? <coughs> he said that he'll get a permission to investigate this house by tomorrow. Please, buddy. Work with me. I said half an hour. I still have 15 minutes of that half an hour left. And should he find you, he'll take you back and God knows what will happen to me. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I think I'm going back home. What? No. Don't be stupid. You're, you're being stupid here. You're just dragging yourself into all this shit without even considering what I feel about. What if I don't want you to get involved after all? If something happens to you... Not to go silent without ever ending that sentence. <coughs> and what if I want to be involved? Because I also feel like if something happened to you, knowing I could have done more... I would have to live on, knowing that, knowing I had the chance, but I let it slip. It's not fair. It's not about fairness. It's about facing a completely crazy guy who has more contacts and influence than you. You are literally asking to get hurt. I simply cannot allow someone as precious as you are to harm himself, just for being reckless. Natsuki is right. Her father is smart, he has contacts given his job, and by tomorrow, not even my home will be a safe, safe place. Someone like me, who can only stand there, uh, there dumbfounded before him, couldn't possibly win. Even so, when everything's going down the street with no brakes, no, please, I know what's best for you. Even if I don't recall this type of stuff happening before, I know the fact he, he's dangerous. He's going to kill you. And then he's going to kill me. I don't want to be killed just because you try to play the hero here. <coughs> Natsuki stood there, tears flowing down her cheek at a fast pace. She's crying, isn't she? But not because she's sad. She feels helpless. Like someone who realizes that when she's needed the most, she's unable to change even the simplest of things. I want to help you, Natsuki. Please let me help you. I can't. Trust me, I want to be helped. But not if it costs this much. I... Hmm... Oh. Hmm... I think we should intervene. Wait a second. There. That should do it. I gave you partial control of Lopsa. Tell her you got a plan. I'll think that by tomorrow. Yeah, I should have everything sorted. I've got a plan. You have to trust me on this, Natsuki. I'll save you by tomorrow. Who are you? Eh? I'm not asking Lopsa, I'm asking you. Who are you? Why are you talking to me using Lopsa's body? You could tell I'm not him? How? I just know you're not him. Are you the one who made this mess? Who turned my life upside down? Answer me! I'm the one trying to avoid that. Then who, who made all this? I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. You, don't, you do know who's at fault, do you? In that case, please help me. Help Lopsa. Please. 
then allow him to help you. I'll have something figured out by tomorrow. Fine. But if something happens to my Lopsa, I'll kill you. To think that Natsuki could find you out. She's really strong, isn't she? She even remained calm and listened. I'm really sorry for breaking her. I feel like we could have gotten along much better. I reverted Lopsa's control to himself. This is all new, so you have to be extra careful. Find the weak spot in her uh, game modifications. There must be some. There must be one somewhere. Huh? Natsuki wiped out her tears and looked at me. Are you awake now? Oh yeah. Let's space out again. Kinda, but well. I hope you don't use this as an excuse after what you what you've promised. I. What? You said that you had a plan and you promised that it wouldn't be dangerous. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course I meant it. You'll see. To be honest, I don't have a clue what she's talking about, but if he says. if what she says allows me to protect her, so be it. Well, I was going to finish homework for tomorrow, but I can pretty much tell that we aren't allowed to exit this house. So I'm going to sleep now. I left the bath with fresh water for you earlier, but it might have got a little bit cold. Maybe, but I'll go take it anyway. I don't li don't list I don't dislike lukewarm water. <coughs> Not to case it's on the bed while watching me leave the room.